What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel coming at you with what should be the final piece of story content for Pokemon Violet, the epilogue story. I have no idea what this actually entails, which is really nothing short of miraculous considering the whole thing apparently got leaked somewhere recently and it's kind of already floating around on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, kind of great that I didn't get spoiled on this and what is that lady in the background doing? Is she okay? Real quick though, just a tiny little team overview just to kind of see who we're going into this with because I have no idea what this is going to entail or uh, what kind of battles we're going to have but I thought it might be fun considering that this is basically just like you know a victory lap story for everything that's happened in Gen 9. Uh, I thought it might be fun to bring a couple of Pokemon from across the different uh, you know playthroughs I did. So we have Sombra, who of course I brought with me on the Indio Disc and actually is a veteran of my Crown Tundra playthrough from the Sword and Shield DLC. I have Ogre Pond from the Teal Mask. And of course we also have Project Satan and Azrael, also from the Teal Mask uh, DLC LP. I thought just for fun it might be cool to bring Archaladon, the shiny Archaladon rather, Rialto, that I found in between episodes in the later part of my Indigo Disc DLC, and of course... I really didn't want to do what's essentially a victory lap playthrough on this game without my original starter, the mon that started it all, Artemis, my Meowskerada. But with that all established, I believe in order to get this started, we have to go to Mystery Gift and get a certain item via internet. You got a mythical Petra Berry. Interesting. Hey, what's up? Lovely of you to stop by. Take your time and have a look around. Okay. I mean, I do believe this is supposed to be where I go, but it doesn't seem like anything's different, question mark? Because I'm just seeing the socks and the gloves. Okay. There's a dusty old decoration of some sort mixed in with all the daily goods and things. And it smells incredibly sweet. The decoration appeared to... Move a little bit? Oh, hello? Daniel! Yo! Arvin here! I heard the news. You've been having all kinds of big adventures, huh, little buddy? School trips, studying abroad? What luck! Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah? Man, I'm jealous to hear that. I wish I could have gone along too. Now that I think about it, it's been one crazy thing after another since you came to our school. I guess you've still been real busy lately, but are things starting to settle down? I was thinking that if you have time, and only if you want, of course, maybe I could come visit you at your house? Hell yeah. Come right over, man. I mean, I do have to take a quick flight back over from Kitakami, but it should be fine. Seriously? Oh, it's such a relief to hear you say that. And without even the tiniest hesitation. Of course. I'm not going to miss out on a chance to hang out with the Zero crew again. So I guess I'll come over. Your house is in Cabo Poco, right? I'll meet you out front. See you there. Oh, the mysterious decoration appears to be gone. I wonder if that has some sort of implications. Mochi Mayhem. Oh, and the logo's even melting. Sick. Hey, so, uh, any news about that decoration that just up and vanished in front of you? Now you're just gonna try and hawk your, your items at me? Alright. Whatever. Ah, good old Cabo Poco. Man, that's really occurring to me that I haven't been here in ages. Like, I've had no reason to actually be back at my own house. Here's the crew!
There he is. Oi, Daniel. There's my three faves. <laughs> Figured I'd tag along. Hey there. You're all here. Daniel, I... This is all my fault. Sorry. You know what I called you and said I wanted to come hang? Well, these two overheard and... Well, we weren't just going to let you hog the chance to visit Daniel. It's way more fun to roll together, true. You say that, but who wants a bunch of uninvited guests? That's just rude. We're not uninvited guests, we're all a team here, dude. It's totally fine. I guess, if you're fine with it, Daniel, then I can't really complain either. Okay, listen up, you two. We're not allowed to cause any trouble for Daniel and his mom, got it? We're gonna be the perfect guests today. You bet. I don't know who you think you're educating here, but sure, whatever. Listen, Arvid doesn't have a lot of experience with an actual functional family, alright? Just give him time. He's gotta work this out. That was such a great meal. Can't believe we got all that after we barged in out of nowhere. Your mom's cooking is so good, Daniel. Right? And she's so pretty, my brain literally glitched when I saw her. Ah, good old bisexual Penny. I'm so glad she remembered me. And look at this huge room. It doesn't make you feel all boxed in like the dorm rooms do. It's super cute, seriously. Almost too much for me to take. Ooh, it's a Nintendo Switch! You have to tell me what games you've got on this thing. Oh, you know, Pokemon Violet, Celeste, uh, Astral Chain. Play Astral Chain, you cowards. I love this Squavit plush. The fluff's to die for. Oh, hey, Mom. How's everybody doing? Anyone want dessert? I was thinking of bringing up some sweets. Sweets? Yes! N no way! We couldn't possibly ask you for more food. We don't mean to be a hustle. You mean a hassle? Hassle! Oh, literally the next line, Daniel. Hassle! I mean, we, we don't want to be a hassle! Hehe. <laughs> oh, sweetie, no need to stand on ceremony here. Just make yourselves at home and relax. Y yes ma'am! Oh, and Daniel, a letter came for you. It's from Kieran. Oh, okay, cool. Imagine if I was a dick and said no there. After all we've been through. My word. You've been making plenty of friends. Here you are. I'll bring those sweets up in just a few. I hope you'll all enjoy them. I'll come help. Yeah, I want to check out the sweets too. Your mom sure is nice, Daniel. You're real lucky. Oh, but what about that letter? Aren't you going to at least open it up? Dear Daniel, how are you doing lately? I took a leave from school, so I'm back in Masui Town for a while. My sis came back with me too. I know we didn't get much chance to talk after everything that happened in the Underdeaths. I'd really like to catch up. Think you could swing a visit to Kitakami? Carmine would love to see you, I'm sure. Maybe you could bring your friends from Paldea too. I included plenty of tickets. Oh cool, that was nice of him. Get a sweet friend group cross over here. Who's this Kieran guy? Some new friend or something? Yeah, just a friend. Yeah? I mean, guess that's good for you and all. Oh, what are you jealous, Arvin? Daniel, Arvin! You are not gonna believe how good this stuff looks! There's too much to carry upstairs. Come on down here and eat! Sheesh, that Nimona. Hasn't she ever heard of an inside voice? But I guess we better go, or she'll just keep on shouting. She's just enthusiastic, man. Come on. You know Nimona. Oh, my poor gut. I feel like I'll burst if I eat another bite. I think what you're trying to say is... Thank you so much for feeding us. It was all really delicious. Right? 
I'll help with the dishes and stuff. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest thing? But no need to lift a finger or to add words that I didn't actually say in the box. You kids just take it easy. Thanks, ma'am. You're the best. At least Nimona's got manners. I'll give her that. Unlike this one. Huh? Why are you looking at me? Say, Daniel, about that letter. What was that place your new pal mentioned? Kitakami or something? You really gonna go there to meet this Kirin guy again? Yeah, let's all go. Wait, what? You going somewhere? Oh, uh... Do we miss something? Something good? Spill it! Are you serious? We're definitely going with you! This Kirin kid was champion of a super elite battle academy, right? Well, that cadence was not right, Jesus. I've got to meet him. More like, I've got to battle him. Was it that obvious? I kind of feel bad, though. Like, we just invited ourselves along on your trip without asking. Dude, it's fine, really. The guy said to bring friends, and we're those friends. He even sent tickets for us. Yep, friends equals us. Ergo, we get the tickets. You bet we do. This will be my first time going on a trip with friends. It's kind of scary and exciting at the same time. Yeah, now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever taken a trip with a friend either. I mean, aside from us all going to Area Zero, but, you know, I don't know if that really counts. You're kidding! Well, this is going to be amazing, so get excited! Guess I better at least tell the housekeeper over at my place I'll be away for a while. Why don't we break for now, do whatever prep we gotta do, and meet up again later? Sounds good. Let's say we meet up again in front of Mexico's a southern gate. Roger. See you all later, then. Hell yeah, this is gonna rule. That and I'm pretty sure these three are just excited to no longer be relegated to one-line NPCs in their dorm rooms. Oh, did Lamona and the others leave already? Yeah, they had a whole fade to black sequence and everything. Did you miss that? Your friends are all such nice kids. I was really glad to meet them all. And now it sounds like you're all about to go have a little adventure together, hmm? Well, have fun if you do. No fighting, and be sure to look after one another. Eh, don't worry, they're with the main character. I'm sure they'll be fine. Hey, over here! Over here! Arvin, I'm like five feet away from you, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, Daniel. Did you load up on travel snacks? Your bag full of grub? Oh my gosh! Dad, would you just drop it? I told you! Friends! I'm going with friends! No, you don't need to be worried about it. We are perfectly capable of taking care of ourselves. Ah, no, it's not going to be an adventure. No one says that. Honestly, I'm hanging up right now. Wait a minute, isn't that... Oh my god, that's totally what Peony says in the Crown Tundra DLC of Sword and Shield to Peonia when he's talking about exploring the Crown Tundra with her and also the main character later after she ditches him. It's totally Peon... Oh my god, Peony's freaking Penny's dad. Which means Peony is her sister, which makes sense because Penny's from Galar. Yep, yeah, that scans. That totally scans. Although I'm sure people are going to be asking, wait, how is Penny so white when Peony and Peonia aren't? And, like, do you remember the rare lead card? Have you seen his wife? <sighs> Suddenly I'm too tired for any of this. Did you get your old man's okay to go? Yeah. In the end, but I had to put up with his ultra-mega-annoying dad talk to do it. Hey, look at that, another peony reference. He just ultra-mega-cares, little bud. Oh, oh, yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, we've all got permission and we're all here. No one forgot anything, right? Then vamos, let's go! Hell yeah, let's go. Ooh, so this is Masui Town? You 
all smell that, right? It kind of smells different than Paldea. Ugh, my head's still spinning too fast to see anything. We there yet? Maybe you wouldn't have gotten so car sick if you hadn't stared at your phone the whole bus ride. But I didn't know if we get signal here. I had to load up on internet goodness while I could. Relatable. <laughs> Why, hello there. Hiya. Hiya, indeed. I'm the caretaker here, and it's a pleasure to welcome you to our town. Kieran had mentioned you all would be coming. Daniel aside, this is everyone's first time visiting Kitakami, is that right? Should be. Yep, that's long and short of it. Well, again, you're most welcome. You can sleep here at the community center. All the rooms have been freshened up for you. Wow, now that's a thoughtful service. Haha, <laughs> it was no trouble. Now, please, relax and enjoy yourselves, but most of all, enjoy Kitakami. Thanks very much, sir. So, what about that Kieran guy? Have you heard from him at all? Excuse me? He doesn't have a smartphone? How is this kid even alive? <laughs> uh, yeah, that about sums it up, really. He must not want any distractions from training. Think he's at his house? Should we go meet him? Oh, Nimona, you Goku-coded battle maniac. Never change. Do you think Kieran's at his house? I can't wait to bat, uh, befriend him. I mean, isn't that kind of the same thing for you, Nimona? I'm gonna make it clear once and for all who your real best friend is. Just you wait and see. Ah, so he is a bit jealous. Because he thinks Kieran took his spot as my number one best friend. Reception out here really is lousy. Me and my poor phone don't stand a chance. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. You just have no access to Twitter or YouTube or Tumblr or, you know, any of those other sites. Now, oh, who am I kidding? If I was in your position, I'd be dying. Hey, there's the lad. Daniel! Oh, man, it's been a long time. I know, it's been like a whole week. Thanks so much for coming. Sorry that I couldn't come meet you at the bus stop. Things have been crazy at home. We had all in hand. <laughs> Thanks. But wait, did you come all by yourself? Nah. Oh, as if on cue. Yo, we're here too. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Nimona. You're Kieran, yeah? Daniel told us all about you. Like how you're great at Pokemon battles, right? Well, I don't know about that, but... Dial it back a notch or nine. You're scaring him. I'm Penny. Unlike a certain someone, I'm fine with taking friendships nice and slow. And I'm Arvin, Daniel's absolute best friend. Alright, tone it back, Arvin. Staking your claim right from the get-go, huh? Well, I'm Kieran. I met Daniel when he came here for that school trip. That's when we became friends. Um, what else? Oh, I'm a student at Blueberry Academy. Er, I mean, I was a student there. I'm on break right now. Whoa, really? I know how that goes. Same thing happened to me. Oh yeah, did Kieran also uh, take the fall for a bunch of his friends and get sent to a, a freaking semester abroad in lieu of an actual punishment? Penny, don't go sympathizing with the enemy. I thought I could count on you to at least keep this interloper at arm's length. Interloper. We're really just throwing out words like interloper uh, about this. That's where we're going with this, Arvin. Eh, I just get the feeling we're pretty alike. Yeah, honestly, I did really get the feeling that Penny and uh, Kieran would get along. Wow, your friends seem like a quirky group. Kind of like you, huh? Anyway, a friend of Daniel's is a friend of mine. I hope you all have a good time staying in Kitakami. Thanks. Now let's battle. Yeah, that's Nimona for you. Jesus. I, uh, what? That space in front of the community center looked like a good battle spot. Vamos, come on! Does she want me to go with her? Am I supposed to go battle her? Yeah, that's kind of how she gets to know people. You get used to it.
Oh man, she's just as pushy as Sis is, but like, different. Oh no, I, I think I might have made a terrible mistake. This Kieran kid might actually be a good guy. Yeah, what gave that away? Of course he is. He's friends with Daniel. Y yeah, yeah, that's true. Now, my question is, do we actually get to see the Kieran and Nimona fight? Because <laughs> I feel like that would be a good filler match. I got completely destroyed. Aw, we already missed it. It took like 10 seconds to get over here. How short was that battle? Who the heck is Nimona anyway? You know, both of these are true, but I'll go with she's my rival. You consider her a rival, Daniel? Okay, yeah, it makes sense she's so good then. Kieran, you're so good! That was awesome! No wonder you were the champion of that fancy pants school of yours. But I couldn't beat you. Does it really matter? Whether you win or lose, Pokemon battles are a blast! Hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's the Mona for you. You get used to it. Hey, that's my line. You okay? Feel like running for the hills yet? Hey, now! N not at all. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I really had a lot of fun. See? Oh, hey, Carmine. Just kind of appearing out of nowhere. With purple eyes, question mark? Well, it's more like pink, but you know what I mean. Whoa, who the heck are you? Sis, you okay? Mochi! Mochi! Uh, hello? Why is she doing the chicken dance? Mochi! 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 Is this your big sister, Kieran? Do you think she wants it on the battle fund, too? There's no way that's what's going on here. S sorry, everybody, but could you help me just, uh, carry my sis somewhere safe? You want us to pick her up and drag her off? I mean, if you say so. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like this is what he called us all out here for. Because she appears to be possessed or something. You sure you don't want to stay with your sister? She should be okay. Gramps and Grandma look after her during the day, but... They must have taken their eyes off her for just a sec earlier. Sorry for making you all help out with... that. Oh, I mean it was no big deal at all. Happy to help out, but... Yeah, I gotta ask. Is everything okay with your sister? She seemed pretty... uh... riled up. She's not usually like that. Well, that's a relief. I think she was just really excited to get to meet you all. You really think that's what that was? Y yeah, th that's gotta be why she's dancing that weird dance and screaming mochi mochi. Uh, how long has she been doing that? I mean, she's been like that since I sent you that letter, Daniel. Oh, was that not why you called us out here? She was already dancing and all that by the time I woke up the next day. No explanation. Oh. Maybe... Maybe I accidentally kind of caused that by doing the thing at the shop where the decoration just kind of up and vanished by itself? Maybe? I don't know. I guess that really isn't normal, is it? Maybe the other folks in town are right. Maybe this really is a curse. Wait, it could be a curse? Whoa, this trip just took a real sudden dive into horror movie territory. I know zilch about curses, but could something like this have happened before? You ever heard any old stories or legends about it? I don't know. Daniel already took care of the whole thing with Ogre Pond and the Loyal Three. Sheesh, Daniel. 
You really just rolled on through this town like a little hurricane, huh? My sis may have no filter and be inconsiderate and push people's buttons. All true. <laughs> but I'd still rather see her be her old self than whatever this is. Yeah, for sure. If there's anything you think we could do to help, just say the word. What? Sure, we'll help you out. I definitely don't believe in horror movie tropes like curses anyway. Yeah, let's do this. If we get to battle a curse, I'm so here for it. I, I don't know if that's how that works, Nimona. Y you guys sure? You don't mind? Friends help one another. That's how that works, man. Daniel. No, all of you. Thank you. It's too late to start today, but I'd be real grateful if you could all help me out tomorrow. First, we're going to have a proper welcome party tonight at the community center. Hey, nice. Do love me a good welcome shindig. I got some soda! Sugar and carbonation! My two love languages! You find peaches alright? I mean, it was literally right over near the community center. It shouldn't be that hard to find. Yep, no problem. It's so close by. There was nobody there, so I just left my money on the counter. You think that was okay? Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they have the same system with the freaking syrupy apple place over, uh, 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 over by the Masui Confluence. Wherever that one place is. Oh yeah, the old lady who runs it steps away sometimes, so everybody does that. No worries. Man, I can't imagine anyone getting away with that back in Paldea. Wait, Nimona, what's all over your mouth? Were you eating snacks without us? When I see a help yourself sign, I don't ignore it. There was just one mochi left though. Hey, Kieran. Do you have any idea how to change the channel on this TV? It just keeps playing the same tourism video over and over. Oh, the caretaker hid the remote somewhere, so that video is all we can get on the TV. Okay, crew. New goal. Find that clicker so we can all watch a movie or something. Hell yeah, let's watch Across the Spider-Verse. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? We just need to find it. Oh, uh, huh. Why didn't I think of that? Time to search this place top to bottom, and then I vote we play games up on that big screen. Haha, <laughs> it's like our own little treasure hunt. Everyone, grab a corner and start searching. I'm in. Hehe, <laughs> you agree my plan is genius, huh? How about this, then? Let's say whoever finds the remote gets to decide what we do. Hey, Kieran, no fair getting a head start. You know, gotta be honest, this is not really what I thought we'd be doing when I heard there would be a quest to get a mythical Pokemon, but hey, any excuse for some domestic adventures with the Zero Crew and Kieran, right? Whatever. Any luck, Kieran? Hmm, the caretaker never really goes through here, does he? Maybe it's somewhere else. How about you, Arvin? No luck with the drawers in the desk here. Guess it would have been too obvious, huh? Uh, maybe it's like the cat toy in Life is Strange True Colors and it's in a weird junk box on the shelf. The caretaker wouldn't have put it in one of the bathrooms, right? Doubtful. Oh boy. Yeah, she did mention eating mochi, so I'm starting to think that maybe whatever is happening to Nimona is what happened to Carmine. Oh, maybe in the sparkling flower pot. Hmm? There's something in this planter. You found the remote control for the TV. What? No way! That means you get to choose what we do. Hell yeah, cross the Spider-Verse, baby! Wowzers! Of course you found it first, Daniel. Hey friend, you agree with me that we should use that big old screen to play games, right? Yeah, not unless you want me to school you in Street Fighter 6. 
Huh? Where'd Nimona go off to? Is she in the bathroom or something? No, I was checking around there earlier. I'm pretty sure I would have seen her go in. She didn't head to the rooms in the back either. I was by the door to the hallway this whole time. I think I know what's going on. She must be waiting to jump out and scare us. Hmm. I tried her phone, but she stopped picking up. You tried calling her? I didn't hear her phone ring or anything. That's weird. Huh. That is weird. So, does that help us figure out where she is? Uh, probably outside. Hmm. Maybe she was so set on finding that remote that she went outdoors to look for it? I guess that makes sense. Maybe she forgot to get something at the shop? I just hope she didn't wander out of town. Kitakami's dangerous at night if you don't know your way around. I think Daniel and I should go look outside. Arvin, Penny, can you two stay here for now? What? But... What if she comes back while we're all out? We have a better chance of finding her if you stay here and you can call us if she does. Good point. That's true. Okay. But be careful out there. We'll all hold down the fort till you get back. Let's go, Daniel. Hell yeah. Whoever's going on with Nimona is no match for two whole champions. Especially if one of them's the main character. Of course, it might be good if I stop running into the architecture. That might help. Huh? There's still some people out. It's hard to tell with the sundown, but I think those two workers are from the orchard. Why don't we go ask them if they've seen Nimona? Sounds like a good plan. Before we do that, can I go look at the shop and see what's going on over here? If there's anything peculiar? No? Alright, well, worth a shot. Hey, villagers, you see my friend? Uh, excuse us? Uh, anybody in there? Hello? Something's off about them. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's gonna be the same thing with Carmine, and probably also Nimona. Ooh, boy. Whoa, what the heck? What's going on? Everyone in this town is cursed to do the chicken dance. God, it's a fate worse than death. Challenged by Pokemon trainer Sheeg and Pokemon trainer Aya. Is it Sheeg or Shiga? I have no idea. Ooh, Ariados and Salazzle. I guess we're doing multi-battles in this DLC. All right, cool. Right. At least it won't take very long to get this done, I imagine. And the levels are only about 80s. Alright, Sombra, get out of there. You're going to die to either of these mons, though. You are fairy and grass. You are double weak to poison. It's not great for you. Alright, Project Satan. Handle it. Venoshock? Nope. Haha. <laughs> also, I just realized this is like a slight remix of the uh, Loyal 3 battle theme. Which is pretty cool. I wonder if they're somehow involved. Which would be weird considering I caught all of them, but you know. And you're not going to be able to do anything with that speed. The battle's over. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, did they have more Pokemon? I could have sworn it only said they had two. I guess I was mistaken. Oh, they each had two. Oh, I'm just 
I'm just an idiot then. Sick. <laughs> All right. Fucking uh, iron head to the knockdown, I guess. Hopefully, Kieran's got something neutral in his polyrath. I feel bad about it, but the only thing we could do is battle them until they calm down. Well, that's certainly not going to help. Big close combat. Not quite all the way down, but... Hopefully this Iron Head will do the rest. Nice. I say that like I'm not 20 levels above this victory bell, right? There we go. Mo, chi, chi. Phew, that scared the snot out of me. What's gotten into them? They were perfectly fine when I saw them yesterday. What the heck is going on around here? They're acting like Carmine was. Hey, you're right. The weird dancing and yelling? It's what my sis was doing. Did these two get wrapped up in this whole curse thing too? Oh man, I can't believe Nimona vanished at a time like this. Oh, uh, look at that, she's right there in the background. There she is. Sure looked like her, all right. She ran off toward Kitakami Hall. Why? Come on, we should go after her. Oh, hello there, Kieran. And to you too, Daniel. Grandpa, Grandma! What are you both doing here? Is Carmine okay? And did you see a girl come by here? Slow down, Kieran. One question at a time. Carmine is at home, sleeping in her room. She must have tucked herself out with all that dancing. Phew, so she's safe. We thought we'd step out while she slept to get some of her favorite noodles from the stall here. A taste of her favorite food might help snap her out of whatever is going on with her. Oh, yeah, I hope so. Good thinking, Grandpa. Now, what was it you were asking about some girl coming this way? Oh, right! Everyone in town is acting all... weird. And one of the girls who came here from Paldea went missing. She's really loud and full of energy. I mean, that's also true, but... Well, now that you mention it, we did run into a girl wearing a uniform not too long ago. You spoke with her, dear. What did she say? Dearest? Oh no, now Grandma's cursed too? Have some mochi. Hmm? I... I don't need any mochi at the moment. D dear have some... mochi. Eat it. Eat the mochi. Grandma? Oh god. This is awfully sudden, dear. But I suppose if you insist... I mean, we can't have a multi-battle against two opponents if you both aren't cursed at the same time, I guess. Alright, I've had some mochi, dear. Now can we get back to the question? G grandpa You okay? Oh boy, yep, there he goes. He's chicken dancing. You gotta be kidding me. Well, 
Well, time to beat up Hideko and Yukito. We were starting off with a Chandelure and an Arbok. Yet another lead that's not great for Whimsicott. This is really not the time to have Whimsicott as the lead in this DLC, I think. Guess we'll U turn the Arbok. A good thing, too, the Shadow is protecting. Alright, Sombra, get out of there. Alright, Rialto, handle it! Shadow is gonna protect against the liquidation, that's annoying. Haha, <laughs> no gunk shot for you, nerd. All right, let's see. I think the snow hit everybody. It only hits them. Good. So we do this. Ooh, nice half damage. Go lower the attack of both of them. Well, they really had to program in a specific bit of dialogue for a super effective hit when they're cursed. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man, why did this have to happen? I guess we've got no choice but to beat them. That's certainly going to help. Nice liquidation. Ooh, big crunching coming, which does almost nothing. Grandpa, Grandma! Wh what's gotten into you? Oh boy, here comes a mammoth swine. Yeah, it sucks my defense got lowered with another physical attacker out here because uh, my freaking Archaladon doesn't have stamina. Probably something I should change at some point before I actually use it in competitive battles. TBH. Alright, hit you with this big flash cannon. Goodbye. Huge ice punch. And we got the freeze. Let's go. Nice job, Kieran. Yeah, so much for that idea. The instant thaw out because we can't have anything. Oh, well. Basically just a couple of 2v1s now. Alright, down to one more. So maybe not using the two-turn move, Daniel. There you go. Let's drop a Draco real quick. Be like Pokey Aim. There we go. Are you guys going to be okay now, or we have to beat you again? Oh, man. No way. Gramps and Grandma, too? Everyone's losing it. It's just a matter of time until it gets me. I'm going to end up like all the rest of them. Calm down, dude. You're starting to sound like that one guy from Trolls 2. They're eating her. And then they're going to eat me. Sorry. I kind of panicked there. Thanks, Daniel. Okay, let's think. Before Gramps started acting like Carmine, he ate some of that weird mochi. Oh boy. Daniel, how are you two doing out there? You okay? Yeah, we're good. How are you two? Hopefully not eating any mochi. We're fine over here. Though Penny got herself all spooked and has been kind of a mess. We got worried because we hadn't heard from you in a while, so we decided to step outside. And things are weird out here, little buddy. We were attacked by all these folks shouting mochi mochi at us, but we couldn't spot you anywhere. 
so I was beginning to fear the worst. We're holding tight by that Peachy's place for the moment, but... Eek! Yeah! There's something there! There's something there, Arvin! Penny, what? Yeah! What's wrong? Are you two okay? Oh crud, this does not look good! Oh boy. Arvin! Hey, Arvin! Something must have got them! Grandma, Grandpa, I'll be back, so don't go anywhere! I still want to find Nimona, but we gotta get to Peachy's and check on Arvin and Penny! Come on! Oh boy, I sure hope they also aren't mochi cursed! And then we'll have to beat them in some kind of big double battle. That would be inconvenient. You know what this is all really kind of reminding me of? Uh, I was trying to think of it earlier, but it's really kind of reminding me of that uh, old horror movie, The Stuff. I don't know if anybody's seen that. Where it's like this new snack food where everybody tries it and then just all they want to do is eat more of the stuff. And it kind of turns them into snack hungry zombies. It's really kind of reminding me of this because it's also uh, a horror trope kind of revolving around a weird cursed snack food where everybody who eats it just kind of turns into a mindless zombie who's obsessed with nothing but the food they ate. Oh shit, you weren't kidding. Everybody's mochified. And we got this dude chicken dancing over here. Is it literally just like every NPC who's out? Yeah, it's literally every NPC who's out here right now. Something weird seems to be going on here in the village. Yeah, you think? You might want to let your Pokemon rest up whenever you get the chance. Yeah, you know what? Probably a good idea. Arvin! Penny! There you guys are! You're both okay? Yeah, it kind of seems a little more tragic on the other end of the phone than it seems like right now. Uh, yeah. Sorry about hanging up on you like that. Probably gave you the wrong impression. Yeah, a little bit! It was all Penny's fault. She went into full panic mode and ran smack into me with her head, so I dropped my phone. Can you blame me? Look at the people in this town. Something seriously wrong with them. Never mind whatever that weird thing was. Weird thing? What are you talking about? It was like round and little and, and weird. And just where is this little hallucination of yours? You sure you just weren't seeing stuff? It was real! I really saw it! Sure you did. I think I might have figured out why everyone is acting so strange. Until we know for sure though, maybe we should all be careful around- Whoa! Heads up, guys! There's something up there! Look! Up there! Hello? That's a little thing I saw earlier. Is... is it a drone? I think it's a Pokemon? Uh, what the fuck? Ooh, huge dodge. <laughs> Fucking Kieran blocks with his head. That's one way to get around it. Huh? Is this mochi? It's kind of sweet. I like it. No, don't eat those! Whoa, what? Oh no. They've been cursed too. You two okay? Yeah, no, they're donezo. Also, could we just take a second to talk about how Penny is, like, way more into this than Arvin seems to be? So wait, wasn't that the decoration that was sitting by the frickin' store shop window? You're telling me that's the mythical? You can't fool me, that's just that Yu-Gi-Oh card Bitron. Whoa, does Penny seem, uh, even more worked up than everybody else? But more importantly, I'm so sorry. If only I'd managed to warn them in time. Those weird mochi came from that thing. Hey, no fair. 
That jerk's using them as a shield! We've gotta find some way to get the two of them to calm down! Perhaps with a multi-battle, like literally everyone else in this freaking story so far? Alright, here we go. Double battle against Penny and Arvin, I guess. Ooh boy, Greedon and Umbreon starting out. Good thing Kieran always starts out with a Polyrath, although this is probably not a great lead considering the Umbreon for me. The one time I don't lead with freaking Whimsicott, right? Also, I love how freaking Zombify Penny just had to put her hood back up just for the re uh, dramatic reveal. Totally necessary. Really appreciate the dramatics there. Alright, um... I guess we just flamethrower the Greedent. See how much that gets me. So apparently it gets me an Oko. Sick. Huge close combat. Let's go. God, not even close. Arg! Ichi Chivi! I love how Penny's fixation on Eevee is still kind of peeking through, even with the brainwashing. Like, it's interesting to see how, like, certain characters have like, at least some level of free will still kind of peeking through. Oh, there's your Sylveon. And then the boss diff. Alright, we're just going right to the aces, I guess. A good thing my physical attack means nothing. Bit inconvenient for Kieran, though. Um... Uh, yeah, I don't think I want Mabasif chomping into my freaking uh, Hisuian type lotion. I guess what we do is we bring out Artemis. Although that might not be good if I get Moon Blasted. Oh, I didn't really think this switch through. I really did not think this switch through. Hopefully, Penny's too zombified to not actually hit Moon Blast on me. Nice close combat. Let's go lower your defenses again, though. That's inconvenient. But again, hopefully Penny will go for you. Sorry about your polygraph, Karen, but you had to take one for the team. I had to get Artemis some screen time, alright? <laughs> Just work with me here. So, I guess we just do... You know, we just flower trick the Sylveon. Get rid of the big threat for me. Bonk! Oh, that didn't even kill? Ah. Considering that it always crits, I thought maybe it would. I did not think that Mibossif had play rough. Right, good job, Kieran. As long as the Sylveon doesn't Moonblast me. Alright, good job tanking that. Oh no, we don't just stand on the aces. How many do you have? Oh, it's three apiece. Okay. Okay, I really gotta get rid of the Sylveon though, so let's just go ahead and Night Slash. I guess at any point anything would kill it. But, you know. Of course, freaking Cloyster is probably gonna Ice Beam me. Not a fan. Nope, just went for the liquidation. Alright. Huge spirit break. Cool, cool. Actually, it is good. Want that special attack lowered. Here comes the Leafeon. So, I think we Night Slash the... No, you know what? We uh, we Flower Trick Cloyster. Flower Trick Cloyster. Oh yeah, it definitely dies to Flower Trick now. And goodbye. And Leafeon shouldn't be able to do a damn thing to me. Unless it has a Bug-type move. Oh wait, it learns x or doesn't it? Oh, Arvin's starting to break through. Break through the Mochi Brainwashing, Arvin. Alright, well, if it does have X-Scissor, then, you know, apparently Penny didn't think to use it. Which is good for me, obviously. Yeah, this thing just... Just 
this thing just gets destroyed at this point. There's no chance. I'll just knock off, and then hopefully Kieran just hits a big flare blitz. Oh, it does have X scissor. Fuck! Alright, Kieran, it's up to you, buddy. I mean, I still have five more Pokemon in the back, but I'm sure you can get this kill, right? Yeah, there we go. Flare Blitz. That's all she wrote. Goodbye. Nice. Now, are you two going to be all right? Hey, don't let the little shit get away. Arvin, Penny, I'm real sorry, you guys. Where do you think you're going? You're next! Oh, jeez, that thing took off in a hurry. Kieran, I really feel like you're, gonna, you're just gonna end up getting yourself brainwashed if you keep chasing after that thing. I good thing we caught up to Kieran. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, boy. Are we going to have to fight Arvin and Penny again? Wait, is that? Nimona! Thank goodness you're okay. Yeah, I don't think okay is quite the word I'd use here. Yeah. I should have figured. Did she just say match? Guess even the mochi couldn't override her battle mania completely. Yeah, that's good old Nimona for you. Oh man, it's got control of Nimona. There's no way I can hold her off. Oh no, we're gonna be surrounded. Jeez, I didn't think it was gonna be all of them. This is bad. Everybody from Masui is coming here. Watch my back for me. Right, good luck. I'll focus on keeping the villagers from getting any closer. Yeah, that's that's fine. You can just take on all 20 of them while I have a 1v1 with Nimona. Daniel, you do your best with Nimona and whatever that thing is. Maybe everyone will go back to normal if you beat it. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, maybe it is like a werewolf situation where you like kill the alpha werewolf that originally turned you and then everybody who was turned by that werewolf and its victims will... Stopping werewolves, question mark? I don't remember if that's how it works. Hopefully we won't actually need a silver bullet for Demona. Hopefully we'll just beat her in a battle and it'll be fine. Alright, what's your lead? Like and rock. It's usually her lead in the Academy Ace Tournament, right? Yeah. Mochi, let's have Mochi full match. Oh boy, she's gonna be pushing 90. And I'm out here with a freaking fire type. It's not great. Um, you know what? Ogre Pond hasn't had any screen time in this yet. Let's get her out here. Supposed to be advantageous for the Lycan Rock, so there's also that. Also, I'm just realizing I didn't bring anybody to set up hazards. So, you know, might be a bit of an issue. Right? Yeah, nobody has any freaking hazards here. Bit inconvenient. TBH. Uh, let's go for the Ivy Cudgel. Let's go for the Big Bonk. There's that. Good thing Yamona also didn't set up any entry hazards. Ooh, Gudra. Right, so... I unfortunately don't have anybody that actually... I don't remember. Does her Gudra have Sap Zipper? I guess we're gonna find out, because I'm bringing in Artemis. I mean, not that I think she runs a whole lot of physical attacks on that thing, nor do I think it would be really good for her to do so. Because Gudra's physical attack isn't that great, but still... God damn it, it has Sap Sipper. Okay. Alright, you know what? Fair enough. That was a that was a botch on my part. Whoops. Okay. 
Like, you know what? Let's let's U turn out. And we'll bring in something else. We'll figure this out. Okay, Project Satan, handle it. I know it's wearing sludge bomb, so at least we'll be immune to that. Nope. I bought no freeze, no freeze. Good. Perfect. Um, you know what? Honestly, if I just shift gear, I might be able to just sweep from here. Get that plus two speed, plus one attack. Should be fine. Ooh, muddy water. Not a fan. Right, so go for the... Is Iron Head or Poison Jab? No, they're the same power. Okay, let's go for the Iron Head. I was about to say, in the off chance I didn't kill, then maybe I get the flinch, but no, we're good. I really think we could just sweep from here. Kamo, all right. Ooh, almost. That's with a plus one, by the way. Yeah, so, uh, so much for that whole sweeping with Project Satan idea I had. I right, come on, Rialto. Please handle it. Go for the Flash Cannon. That should kill. There we go. Ooh, there's the Palmot. All right, now I know I'm weak to fighting, but I have such high natural defense that hopefully she shouldn't be able to one-shot me. So I'm hoping it'll be fine if I just drop a Draco. Yeah, you're not going to one-shot me. And now your defenses are lowered, so this Draco should do even more. Oh, yeah. Not even close. There's my special attack down, so Rialto is going to have to switch out, though. Bit unfortunate. Ooh, we're Bombi. Yeah, let's get Azrael back out here. Should be this in our starter now, right? Yeah, it's just this in uh, Quackleball. So we should be fine. Nice crit. Don't think it mattered. Yep, there's the Quackleval. So I think Artemis is the play. We just hit this thing with a flower trick real quick, and that should be all she wrote. Oh, I didn't think she had the wherewithal to terrestrialize. Not like it's gonna matter, especially if you go Terra Water. Oh no, you went Terra Fighting. Oh, you went Terra Fighting. Okay, did not see that coming. Hopefully, the Flower Trick crit still matters. Oh, it didn't matter. It only got you down to a quarter. This is not great for me. Jeez, I'm about to get destroyed. Or not, because you're going to hit me with a resisted Aqua Step. I mean, it does raise your speed, but... Nope, wasn't enough. Haha. -ha. Well, so much for that idea. I thought she was going to hit me with, like, a Terra Close Combat or something. See, that would have been the smart thing to do. But then again, her brain's not exactly all there with the mochi brainwashing right now, is it? Yeah. Alright, let go of my friend, you little nerd. Like, is it really is time to just defeat the mysterious Pokemon? Okay, did a quick heal up of the team, and I also actually brought in Cinnamon Roll in place of uh, Rialto. Just because I realized that this might be the chance for me to catch this thing. And I also didn't have anything that could cause a status condition. So I had to bring in Cinnamon Roll for the Nuzzle. But 
Hopefully, this will be fine. Yeah, that's right. You're done for, you little shit. Yes, I do. Okay, yeah, this thing definitely has to be connected to the Loyal 3 if it has the same battle theme. Okay, hopefully it's not going to be one of these things where I have to, like, battle it a separate time later in order to catch it. You damaged it! That means you can beat it! Keep it up! You got this! Ooh, boy. There's a Toxic. Oh, no, wait. This is a slightly different theme. Poison Puppeteer? Okay, so anytime it poisons an opponent, it just automatically confuses it, too. That's inconvenient. Guess we gotta bring out the Pokemon that's literally immune to being poisoned, then. You know what? You did your job, Cinnamon Roll. It's fine. Hey, there's a full para. I guess if you're poison type, that means you're weak to bulldoze. Nice. As if I need any more speed drops on you. Just keep going for the bulldoze, it's fine. Oh man, I can't hold out much longer. Hurry up and finish it, Daniel. I'm working on it. All right? I gotta get Project Satan some drugs real quick. Hang on. Let's go for the bulldoze again. And these bulldozers are not doing as much as I would want them to. There's Shadow Ball coming in. Thankfully, it's not doing as much as you would like. Ooh, so close. Nasty Plot? Yeah, that does nothing for you. You're done for. I'm sorry, you're done for. Literally, Iron Head kills you. Bonk! Look! It's slowing down! Now's your chance! Catch it in a Pokeball! Of course, I'm going to use a timer ball. It's the best one. Like, everybody stop being brainwashed now? That'd be great. Petcherunt, the subjugation Pokemon. Its peach-shaped shell serves as storage for a potent poison. It makes poisonous mochi and serves them to people and Pokemon. Yep, poison poke, uh, Pokemon poisoned by Petcherunt's moves, or Petcherunt's moves, uh, moves, rather. I keep wanting to say Petcherunt because, you know, I keep thinking the Pichu Berry is the Petra Berry, but it, it doesn't have an A in it. Whatever. Pokemon poisoned by Petrarun's moves will also become uh, confused. Ooh. I wonder if I got... I wonder if I just got lucky and it got timid nature. Or if this is like, yo, how Ogre Palm you catch it is always lonely. I wonder if uh, Petrarun is always timid when you catch it. I don't know. Anyone who else has played this uh, DLC, let me know what your Petrarun's nature was. Let me know if I just got really lucky. How convenient that we had a Pokedex slot for that. Did you get it? Then everybody else should be... Hopefully back to normal. Hmm? What are we all doing here? How did I end up at Loyalty Plaza? Everybody's back to normal. Daniel, Kieran. The last thing I remember was getting to the shop. What happened? Oh, well, you know, you were kind of zombified by some poison mochi for a little bit. It was, it was a whole thing. Have you ever seen that movie, The Stuff? Basically, it was that. Seriously? 
So all that mochi mochi stuff was because of some Pokemon? See? See? I told you it was real! Unlike dumb horror movie tropes like curses! That round little monster was behind everything! Just like I said! Er, when did you say that? Anyway, Daniel went and caught the thing, as he does. Haha, <laughs> he sure did. Wait, what about Nimona? Uh, please don't say mochi mochi. Oh no, she's fucking with us, right? She's absolutely fucking with us right now. Gah! The curse wasn't lifted? Yeah. Oh, it just like was like just barely wearing off. Never mind, I thought she was playing a silly little prank. Huh? What's going on? Did we find the remote? That's what you want to know? Sheesh. Glad you're back to normal now, at least. Yep. Morning, everybody. You know, I had this crazy realistic dream that I was battling Daniel. Ha! <laughs> yeah, dream. Ha <laughs> ha. It was awesome! Sign me up to have that dream again! Ha ha ha! Nabona really is... Something? Yep, sure is. Kiki and Daniel? Sis, Gramps, Grandma! What the heck is going on? Why is everyone up here? Someone better start explaining! Actually, huh. What a weird feeling. Somehow it feels like I'm seeing you for the first time in ages. Aww. Several days later. So we're heading back to Paldea already, huh? We got caught up in a pretty hairy situation, but this trip was still a blast. Yeah, getting brainwashed by Poison Mochi and all. Total fun times. My arms and legs are still killing me from all that dancing. I imagine they would. All packed here. Everyone got their stuff together? Yep, I'm all good. Oh, nothing to say about you all being brainwashed by Mochi, huh? Just talking about Ogre Pond again? To be fair, Ogre Pond is pretty cute, so I don't blame ya. Hey, you guys! Are you really going home already? No one would mind if you stayed longer. I'll come back again. Yeah, you better. Hey, uh, Daniel? Everyone? Thank you all so much for coming. Nah, we should all be the ones thanking you for showing us such a good time. And the food, man. Everything we ate here was so good. The festival was a lot of fun, too. I even got to buy a VV mask. What more could you want? <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you liked it here. Time really flew by. Just goes to show how much fun we were having, huh? Wish I could have fit in more battles against both of you, though. Are you kidding me? You battled each of us a dozen times or more! Welcome to the Nimona Survivors Club. Yeah, that about sums it up. I really am happy I got to meet you all. Aww. I've been thinking about it a lot, and I'm going to give Blueberry Academy another shot. I'm really going to go for it this time. You've got this. Yeah, thanks, Daniel. Aw, I guess that means my vacation's over, too. Time for me to head back to school, too, then. Hey, sis? Thanks for, like, coming with me here and everything. This has been great, seriously. I'm real glad I got to come here and meet you all. And Kieran, I really am sorry for trying to flex on you the way I did when I first got here. Huh? Were you? I didn't even notice. Don't worry about it, Arvin. 
Feel free to flex on Kiki as much as you like. I'll allow it. Wow. Uh, okay. Wow. Looks like Carmen's another one with a big personality, huh? Yeah, sorry about her. Excuse me? Who do you think you're apologizing for? And you guys? What do you mean by big personality? Ah, there we go. Yay, that was a fun little aside. Hey, the number of people I can invite to the club room has gone up. You know, hopefully that includes Arvin, Penny, and Amona. You know, so they're not sequestered to their damn dorm rooms for the rest of eternity. Hey, speaking of their dorm rooms, I wonder if they have anything to say about all that. Our trip to Kitakami was the best. I'm glad I could go together with all my buds. Yeah, same here, man. Thanks again for inviting us along. Hey, no problem. Any chance to hang out with the Zero Crew again? It's a shame I can't take any selfies with you. I should have done that when I was in Kitakami. Mochi, mochi, match! I really don't remember much of that night, but it's still fun to say. It looks like Nomoto's got a new vocal stem. That was a lot of outdoor time. Got a hole up indoors for a bit to bounce it out. God, you are so much like me. It is so unreal. Anytime I have a little bit too much social interaction, I'm like, just, nope, gotta go indoors. Gotta stay inside, be by myself. Just engross myself in some fictional media. Just completely unwind from all of that. <laughs> Uh, it's too real. Hey, Sylveon. What's up? Ah, you're cute. Alright, I think that's where we're going to call it for this video, because this raw file is going on for almost an hour and 40 minutes. Uh, this is definitely going to be a longer video, but I do want to do it all in one video, so... Um, I'm just going to call it here. I believe that actually is it for the new content. It was just that one little side story and catching Petcherunt, which is always fun. I always like when they actually do, like, little quests for the legendary and mythical Pokemon instead of just... Hey, here's a Pokemon via Mystery Gaft. But anyway, thanks for joining me for this one little piece of uh, Pokemon story content for Pokemon Violet. This is probably going to be the last video I do as far as like a Let's Play of Pokemon Violet. Unless I decide to do some like battle content or some other kind of weird thing that I decide to do in the future. I'll let you know. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Give it a like if you liked it. Answer the comment question down below, which will be this. Boom. There you go. Subscribe for more stuff like this, possibly in the future. Uh, you know, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Maybe come up with better outros that are more solid and that you plan ahead of time. Unlike me, who doesn't know how to do that by now. <laughs> and drink some water. Which is certainly something I'm going to have to do after all this talking. Say goodbye to the people, Artemis. Aw, he's shy.